Hello, welcome back to Beno Sushi Lamp Loading. In this episode, we're gonna do something uh, quite simple using Sorkar nodes. So basically, the idea is simply to use the extrude, but for the vertices. Okay, so this this node can be really powerful if you actually thinking about vertices, and if you extrude vertices, and you get um, you get line, and you can. You can actually make some kind of branching, but for now we're gonna just use a single vertex, and we're actually gonna create uh, some kind of random walk. So let's see how this goes. So single vertices, of course, will create a single vertices. I will turn on show name because sometimes a single vertices and edges is not being shown in the scene. I'm gonna deal with that. Okay, now we have an object. We can't see anything yet. Um, and I'm gonna try to extrude this object in the XYZ. So now we can see, we can actually see a line. Uh, and we can actually extrude it as we like. Um, let's try to actually use maybe like a vector and on top of this we can use number so number can be random if it um, let's try if we use random and plug this in and for each one of these we actually want to turn on the the seed so I'm I'm selecting all of these three nodes and then holding options click on the seed, now we can see all the seed uh, I'm gonna randomize the seed number and now let's plug this in and you can see we have lines that's kind of between 0 and 1 unless we actually map it indifferently so this value is just random value between 0 and 1 uh, zero. It's funny when I turn on random, this actually normalize itself, but that's okay. Uh, so we started with a, just a single vertices. What if we duplicate this and then look at the result? So we have the points kind of going the same way, unless we randomize the seed. And we actually can continue keep doing this, or we can use uh, maybe loop. Let's try. Creating a begin for loop. So we don't use the components yet. And then we're gonna use n for loop. Okay, so this so object's gonna go in the loop. And then gonna be processed inside the loop, and it's gonna go out. It's gonna loop over this process, and hopefully, we get an output. Okay, so now I can keep increasing these iterations. I tried with these iterations. Actually, once you go to over one thousand, even like five thousand, it can get pretty slow. But 100 still okay. You can see it still, it keeps going kind of in the in the directions of 111 one, one in XYZ. It's a bit random, but it's not really super random, unless we actually perhaps use a map range over here, and then just input like something like minus one. So now we we have something that's a little bit more like a random walk. Still, uh, I think this is like a pseudo, pseudo random. So because the randomness actually comes from the seed, so this is almost like something like a more like noise. I mean, it's not. It's just a random number based on the seed. So okay, so this is interesting, right? However. What can we push this further? Maybe if we use a. Uh, I don't know if any of the noise in SOR car is actually working 
as I, as I want it yet. So it has a lot of generator here for noise. We don't, I don't think we have seed with this node. So you can see all kind of noise that we can plug in. Like for example, if I want to use this um, inside the loop, how am I gonna go about doing this? So noise parallel. Kind of wondering if this just goes in there and then this goes there. So maybe that's kind of kind of working. But I have to investigate that a little bit further. So anyway, this is a quick and easy like a random walk. And it's kind of interesting that we can do this quite easily, easily to understand. Uh, and if you ever actually want to put a closure, you can use, I think, something like draw. So you put this draw mode at the end and simply plug the objects out so we don't stay in this edit mode. So you can see even at 500 is kind of already slow. It's keep building the data. However, you can produce something out of this and set preview. So now we, we can actually go up in the object mode. And at this point, you can actually use solidify, solidify modifier. And this guy, actually not solidify, skin, skin modifier, skin modifier can turn polygon edge into mesh. Okay, so I use this thing a lot and I'm gonna, in the next video, maybe I'll try to do something a little bit more, like maybe using like mirror modifier and create something out of this. But so yeah, so this is a, just a quick look at extruding of vertices, but we are, we are using loop, so we end up with something like this, but try, try to also use the same setup, but do the vertices extrude for each and every component. So what's going to happen if you do that? I actually have to try that, but let's try extrude, select all, let's try select all, change selections to vertices, and maybe even like select random, but what if we just put this in? And at this point, Blender might actually crash this. I don't know. It's uh, I think it's doing this infinite loop. So we need to be careful here. Or maybe it's uh, <clears throat> extruding all these vertices many, many, many times, times 100. So yeah, that's something you can try and try not to make it crashing, but it's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, so there we go. Hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.